there was a time when they say, man, you, you, y'all out here arguing like a bunch of bitches. I mean, I'm not saying that word is right, but y'all know what I mean. You know what I mean. There was a time when men did not do this publicly. This is Dee. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. Well, guys, I'm back, 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 and riddle me this. Why do we have a bunch of rich, famous black men all over social media bickering like a bunch of real housewives? And why are we lapping this up like biscuits and gravy? You know, guys, and I'm going to say this. There was a time and not too long ago when this kind of bickering and going back and forth was considered, I mean, especially by black men, let's keep it real. This used to be bitch shit, right? There was a time when they say, man, you, you, y'all out here arguing like a bunch of bitches. I mean, I'm not saying that word is right, but y'all know what I mean. You know what I mean. There was a time when men did not do this publicly. Why do we have these men on social media clowning over a 30-year-old joke? Why do we have my boy, Cat Williams? You know, and anyone who knows me knows that Cat Williams is my favorite comedian. Um, I mean, other than Eddie Murphy, who is uh, the GOAT. Uh, but, you know, Eddie Murphy hasn't done comedy, stand-up comedy in 30 years. Cat Williams and Chris Rock are my favorite comedians. Cat Williams is completely unproblematic. He is brilliant. I love his comedy because of, obviously, the humor as well as the intelligence behind it. Cat Williams is like Dave Chappelle, only Cat Williams is actually funny. And this really shocks me and it really disappoints me, you guys, that these black men are out here, as far as I'm concerned, cooning. Yes, I said it. This is straight up coonery. As obviously everybody knows, Cat went on Shannon Sharp's club, Shay Shay, and set the internet and Hollywood ablaze with his revelations and accusations about so many prominent comedians. I mean, he aired out everybody from Cedric the Entertainer, Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley. You know, everybody got in on the act. Even Ludacris and Ice Cube. Hell, he even threw Tiffany Haddish in there for good measure. And I just don't see the objective in this. You guys, I don't see what good, how this benefits him. Look, I understand wanting to set the record straight to some extent when someone is lying on you. Now, I can understand that. But the way in, in which he did it does more harm to him than good. And it just makes Black men look bad. You know, this is more Black on Black. I don't want to say Black on Black crime, but you don't see... Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt and George Clooney and Leonardo DiCaprio out here damaging their brand. Why can't these black men have some sort of a solidarity publicly? And yeah, we're going back to 1998 and Cedric the Entertainer did steal this stuff. Why? I mean, you have no problem protecting these men, these powerful men who hire you behind the scenes, who actually own these production companies and the networks and these studios. You don't mention their names. And yet you are out here destroying and embarrassing each other without a second thought. And, and, the, and the crazy part is that, you know, the, the Black men dominate the, the comedy space. That is one area of Hollywood where they have the most power. And Black folks are eating this up. Video after video. I mean, we are loving this. We loving this. And that, to me, that tells us and tells me so much about our, our community. 
This is why we can never rise as a people. Like, I understand people having beef. We don't know. I mean, these men have a long history together. And obviously, you're, you're going to, you know, you're going to have your differences over the years. But you don't see Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio out here airing other, you know, each of them out. They don't air each other out. They don't publicly embarrass each other or themselves because they have an image to maintain. And what good does it do to sully not only their image, but the, the images of their their counterparties, their colleagues? You think they don't like it? You think they don't have beef behind the scenes? Of course they do. But you'll never know it because it's bad for business and it's just a bad look. You know what part of the interview that I enjoyed the most? And this is what's so sad, that no one's even talking about this. This, you listen to part of this interview, you guys, which I love the most. You adopted seven kids. <clears throat> Why? Deep. That's a lot of kids for a man that's as busy as you are, travels as much as you do, on the road as much as you are. So, but that's a lot of responsibility, Kat. Was a guy. Thanks. What would he think about you if you did that? I'm saying, let's just let's say, for example, that God is real. Yes. Okay. And let's say he'd be looking at what you do. Yes. What would he say if you did that? My whole life. Since I was telling you when I was young and they was asking me what I wanted to be and nothing I wanted to be was what I wanted to be God's friend. Right. But if you believe in God and I tell you that I wanted to be God's friend and I wanted to even go to Hollywood and still be God's friend. If I told you that that was my aim, I got exactly what I was trying to get. I haven't been shorted in any way. You remember the conversation where I was where it was me yes. and I didn't know what was going to happen to my two little brothers and yes. it was just going to be out there. Yes, right. So when it gone full circle and I'm, yeah, one of the, I'm one of the richest men that ever lived. You guys, this made me cry because this is a good man. Cat Williams is a good person. As he said in that clip, if you believe God is real, and he is looking down on you. Does this honor him? Does all of this controversy and black man against black man, do you think this is what he would want? It's really disappointing. Do what you got to do. Say what you got to say in private. But as black men, rich, famous, prominent black men, keep it tight publicly. And unfortunately, we don't do that. We don't do that as a people. I want to know what you guys think in, in the comments. Please let me know. Do you agree to some extent? Do you not agree? Like, what is the point of this, you guys? If you've thought about this, what are they doing to each other? This is just, this is nothing good. What, what good can become of this? None. I don't see it. If you do, let me know. So thank you for watching. Um, please like comment and subscribe and please share your thoughts in the comments. I really, really want to know. Well, until next time. Bye-bye.